y'all, hey y'all, in some kind of way, Facebook just keep me off. You know, they just keep me right on off. Like they just didn't care about me. I was out here trying to do a little, uh, a little introduction to my testimony, you know. And I reckon Satan don't want me to get that testimony out there. But uh, I'm going to take this opportunity to greet you all in Jesus' love today. It's been some time since I've been uh, on Facebook due to my precious baby had taken ill. And now God is blessing, you know, she's feeling better. So I managed to be able to sneak out the house for a little bit to jump on my hot ride, my tricycle. I'm on my tricycle, y'all. I'm enjoying uh, this day. It's beautiful out here today. And you know something? I'm getting, I'm just getting lined up for what's coming this summer. And you know, um, Lord has blessed me so good. He's blessed me so good, family. I uh, went to my doctor's appointment and uh, on my physical, you, as, as you all know, here, uh, early part of the summer, I was trying to lose 85 pounds. And I told y'all that I'm working on 85 pounds. So when the cold weather came, I sort of like stopped uh, riding the bicycle. Sheila, I greet you. Lots of love to you, Sheila. I greet you. And you know, and I want to give a shout out to my niece. <clears throat> I want to give a shout out to my niece, Katina. A very big shout out to Katina. You know, my niece who have uh, doing brawner sickness and ordeal have showed herself mightily. She have blessed me. I was uh, so tired here uh, last week. One day last week, she came down to sit, you know, with Bronner until I could sleep and get some rest. I was just wore out, Sheila. Wore out for my uh, baby, taking care of my baby, my daughter, Bronner. And, um... Another shout out I want to give to Annika. Annika has been a nothing but a jewel, a uh, T, uh, Minister T. He's been a, a big blessing to me. My, nep my nephew, Minister Trayvon Hainsworth, who I'm very proud of and, 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 uh, and thank God for that uh, is in the ministry. Minister T, shout out. Shout out to you and Annika. You know, they uh, when I had to go to, I believe it was Philadelphia, if I'm not mistaken. And believe me, I can get things mixed up now. But uh, I think it was Philadelphia that drove me to a doctor down there. And uh, I thank God for my niece and nephew, Annika, and T. And, uh, of course, Judah Ann, who loved Brianna, just loved Brianna. And uh, T and all of them, they just love uh, Brianna. And, and doing Brianna's sickness, they have showed themselves mightily to be Christian. I mean, that's what Christians are all about. You know, especially family members. When somebody gets sick... We are, we, are, we, are, we are on it. We are calling to check on them and see how they're doing and see if there's anything we can do. That's godly love. That's the signs of a true Christian that when you're sick, when you're going through, Sheila, and they pick up that phone to call you or they see whatever they can do to make things lighter for you. So I thank God for uh, Tina. I shout out to Tina. I shout out to Annika. Shout out to T. And a shout out to my sister Judah Ann, who I know love my daughter. And I thank God for that. You know, I just bless God, you know. But my testimony, oh yes, to God be the glory for your family and friends who were there in your time of need. Yes, they were. Yes, they were, Sheila. They were there, Sheila. And I thank God for them. I bless the Lord for Jesus for them. Because yes, they were truly there. They were there, you know. And um, uh, I, I, I just can't thank God enough for them. And you know, I uh, let me tell you a testimony. That my testimony I want to share before Facebook keep me off or something happened. You know, I saw so I went to the doctor. As you know, um, I was trying to lose that 85 pounds, so um, I was on the bicycle, exercising just about every other day. I was on the bicycle, so when it started getting cold, I had to stop. But nevertheless, I never stopped eating my eating habits. I kept, you know, up with that. So when I went to the doctor, Sheila, I went to the doctor and the uh, doctor told me, say, your A1C is 6.1. Say your A1C is 6.1, which is normal. So he took me off of all of my medications for diabetes. So, so I'm no longer a diabetic. Ah, oh, for the past three days since he did that, I've been checking my blood sugar levels and they're normal. You know, I sit down, have my breakfast, have my dinner, check my blood sugar, they're normal. 
So I said, oh, I, in the doctor's office, I gave God a shout out. I said, yeah. And the doctor did like that. The doctor was like, oh, boy, I reckon the doctor said I was like loud up in there. I was like, thank you, Jesus. I said, this is what I've been praying for. This is what I've been exercising for. They hear that. They hear my doctor say, you are diabetic free. You are free. And then a few months before that, he took me off of my pressure medication, y'all. No. Yeah. Yes. And um, a few months before that, Shirley, he took me off of my pressure medication. My pressure dropped way down, you know, to normal. So so now what I'm doing now is that I got, it was 80. And then he say, since October, you've lost 23 pounds. He say, since October, you've lost um, 23 pounds. So now I weigh 243, no, 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 it was 243 pounds, but now I've lost a few more pounds, I'm 238 pounds and a few ounces, 238 pounds, so I got 38 pounds and about, around about 8 ounces to go, y'all, I'm taking a challenge, you know, I'm, I, I, I say to my niece Tina, I told my niece, I say, you know, I want to do a challenge of those because what people don't understand is that a lot of our health problems is due to being overweight. It's, it, once, you, once you get the rid of the excess weight, then those things that you're going through, those problems that you have, they will subside. They will go away. They will go away just like um, my uh, uh, diabetes. I was taking metformin for about 13 years, metformin. And then I've been taking press, was taking press medicine over 25 years. Because I w w w had to take that ever since I was in my, in my, in my, um, well, late teens. I was like early, maybe early 30s when I went on medication for blood pressure. But now, everything God has worked out things so wonderfully he's worked out things so wonderfully and it's nothing but a blessing y'all it surely is nothing but a blessing <laughs> yeah you know you know uh sheila i keep on having to adjust my pants now my jeans i didn't brought new jeans a size 20 got some at 18 and the 21s i keep having to tighten my belt up I said, oh my goodness, you know, and it's, it, see, it's, 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 it's a lifestyle, and, and once you get into that lifestyle that, you know, what I'm doing now, uh, uh, the concern I have for my health now is going to, it's going to pay off after a while, you know, watching what I eat, uh, exercising, you know, you don't have to be no maniac in exercising. Just do something every day or every other day. Really, if you just start out, you know, do it every other day, you know. And I say once the weather continue to break and get better, I'll be out here riding my tricycle more. I'll be riding more because that's going to help speed my weight loss up. Yeah, so I encourage you all. I encourage you that uh, want to see a difference in your weight. Mm, just ask the Lord to help you. I had to pray diligently. I had to pray and ask God to help me to lose this weight. And now, diabetes free, high blood pressure free, 38 pounds to my goal. I get 38 pounds, and if I say 39 pounds, I'll be at 100 and 99 pounds so i i think when i get to 199 pounds i might lose 20 more i might go for 20 more just to be down some so, I, so i'll be closer won't be so close to 200 and one <laughs> but hey Sheila, it feels good it feels so good it feels so good in my body you know i have energy i have plenty of energy and uh, and I was talking with my niece. You know, we get ready to start what they call the Daniel fast. And um, and it's it's a great sacrifice now. The Daniel fast is a great sacrifice. And I'm going to start February the first. That's February the first up until I think April the fifteenth. That's February, March, April. Yes, to April the fifteenth. So that's two and a half months that I'm going to be on the Daniel fast. And, and, and what that consists of, the Daniel fast, is no animal products, no animal products, no dairy products, no sugar, no definitely no cookies, no candy, 
No ice cream. Uh, no, none of that good stuff, you know. I, I, I say to myself, I'm going to sacrifice. I'm a sacrifice because it's something I want God to do for me, y'all. It's something I want from the Lord Jesus Christ. And I tell you, he's done so much for me, Sheila. i just excited about what he's done for me already. You know, I want to do some things this summer. You know, I want to take some trips. I want to go back to Africa. I want to go to Jerusalem. I want to go to the Holy Land. You know, I got so much that I want to do, you know, enjoy the world, you know, uh, enjoy what God got for me to enjoy and um, and get the family and just get out, just get out of the country for a little while and um, just enjoy Jesus. And, you know, God is doing that. God is, he's giving me and answering my request. So I thank him for getting back to the, Dan the Daniel fast, you know. Uh, a lot of people don't know that on the Daniel fast, you can enjoy a lot of different and varieties of food. You know, especially if you already love vegetables. If you already love vegetables, collard greens, uh, cabbage and potatoes. Uh, it could be cabbage and, um, and sweet peas. Or, or, or it could be spinach or rice. Uh, your brown rice, a little white rice ain't gonna hurt you. Um, uh, uh, all kinds of uh, beans, you know, all kinds of grains, uh, uh, sweet potatoes, um, butternut squash, squash, uh, uh, all kinds of vegetables, and just a little fruit to every night there for the, the sweet tooth. You know, that will help you to start on your way, you know, because what people don't understand, and I thank God for the Daniel face because the old miss, the meat, the meat have a lot of information in it. And the information is not good for our body. It brings in different types of sicknesses and diseases into our body, these animal products. And especially the things that they're putting in the anim animal products right now, it, it's just horrific. You know, all these, these um, uh, antibiotics, you know, they, they, the sick chickens, the sick cows, and, and the sick pigs. And, and they're putting all this, this, this antibiotics in these, uh, in these, in these, um, I go to bed, I got energy, plenty of energy, and I ain't no young woman, <laughs> I ain't no young cat, you know, but God has given me the energy that I so desperately needed four years ago, four years ago, and what people don't realize, my weight at one given time, about four years ago, my weight was 398 pounds, I was about two pounds for being 400 pounds. And now I'm, I'm about 38 pounds for being 200 pounds. So after a while, I would have been the lost pretty close to 200 pounds. You know, and this without any surgery. No surgery, no. I refuse to do any surgery, no. Surgery ain't put this weight on me. It's what I put in my mouth put that weight on me. Yes, yes. So I decided that, you know, I'm going to do this thing with, by, in, by the grace of God. I said, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to allow the Lord to help me. Yes, so I encourage you that are out there and that will view this uh, video, I encourage you to get busy, get serious. If you're tired of being sick and sick and tired of being sick, you know, I encourage you to, to, to just sit down and take a long look at your life and look at the condition you're in and look at a lot of people, their mobility is gone. You know, they, they, they got so much weight on them, they can't move around like they can like, and like they should be able to move around. So that's something to consider. You know, one thing I considered when in, in my weight loss was having high blood pressure, diabetic. You know, I considered that. And I told God, I don't want this. You know, I don't want this no more for my life. I don't want to be taking this mad form in which I couldn't stay, stand the smell of that, 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 that the um, poisonous smell. You know, the drug smell of it. I couldn't 
understand the smell of that stuff, you know. Like, God, to please deliver me, Lord, and help me to get away from uh, taking these metformins and this blood pressure medication was just messing my head up, you know. So, Benita, God bless you, Benita. God bless you. Yes, come on, boy. And, uh, yes, I, I just really prayed about it, you know. And then when the doctor told me, say, you know, your A1C is 6.1, you are no longer diabetic, you know, I, Sheila, I just, I just couldn't thank him enough because God gave me the strength to say no to this food, no to that food. This is not good for you. That's not good to you, for you. God gave me the strength to say, to say no. And, and by me saying no, now my weight is down, 238, you know, I got 38 pounds that I'm working on it, and it's just as good as gone. It's just as good as gone, you know, by uh, mid-summer, you know, that weight going to be gone. I'll be, I'll be to reach my goal. And it's all going to be because of the uh, faith that I have in my, in my Savior, in my Lord the faith I have in him. And that lets me know that, you know, you can do it. Whoever that's watching that's been going through with this weight issue, you know, I tell you, you know, I was a, I was a sugar addict. You know, before I started this thing, I just couldn't get enough sugar in the form of cookies, candy, cake, ice cream. I just couldn't get enough of it, you know. And, um, and then way later on, I could see all this weight on me, you know, not able to fit no clothes, not I'm feeling bad concerning myself because I just wasn't where I wanted to be in my weight, you know. And I went through a long time. I went through a long period of, of, of feeling down and out, you know, and just, just unattractive, you know, just feeling bad, you know. And um, so I thank God now. I thank God now. You know that all I can say that all is well. And you know something, family? I'ma keep at it, and I'm gonna encourage you all that are out there that, that you can do this thing as well as me. I'll encourage you as long as God give me life in my body. I'ma encourage you. I'll stand with you. I'll pray with you. I'll believe and I'll trust God with you. Because you know what the words say, we can do all things through Christ, whom, which strengthens us. We can do it. We can do it. Yes. I'm a soul addict. Yeah. See, and that's another thing uh, that I uh, realized that was not good for high blood pressure. High blood pressure and short do not mix. They do not go together because the salt will retain fluid in your body, you know, especially for the soda lovers, those that love to drink sodas, you are just increasing your risk of stroke, you are increasing your risk of heart attack due to excessive salt, excessive, excessive elevation of the blood pressure. So I got away from the salt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Anita, I got away from the saw it you know and i and i can tell too and i noticed it that when i did start tipping back getting me a little salt freaking here blood pressure would go up you know and then i put two and two together and that's when i said mm, i'm gonna leave this all alone i'm gonna leave this all alone i got used to when i started to cooking yes a solid killer exactly right that blood pressure solid killer and i'll never forget when i went here uh, last year to the emergency room, wind up in there two times, my blood pressure was a hundred and some, a hundred and fifty some, way over a hundred, you know, so that was like in stroke level, so, so I really got serious, I said no more salt, mm -mm, no more salt, and when I put that salt down and I continue to exercise it, the weight start coming down, and now I'm no longer, I don't, I no longer have high blood pressure, I no longer have that. I, I am no longer a diabetic. I am free from all that right now. And oh my God, I thank him. And I know if he freed me from this, he can do it for anybody that's watching. Anybody that's watching and have a problem with high blood pressure, all this, just start, just start a work. And then first you, first you start with asking God to help you. Because see, this thing is horrific. It's addiction. Weight, uh, 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 obesity ain't nothing but an addiction because people are addicted to various types of food, you know, and they crave it. They crave it. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. 
if I could be delivered from the things I've been through, <coughs> high blood pressure, and all this uh, stuff, hey, high blood pressure, if I hadn't been delivered from that, anybody, anybody can do it. You know, I know, I know how much I love to eat sugar. Mm-hmm. And he delivered me. You can be delivered too. Just ask the Lord to help you. Ask him. Just say, you know, you know what I told him. I said, God, I say, you know, I I repent of let my body get out of whack. Let my body, let my body pick up all this weight. I said, I repent, Lord. I said, now, Father, I'm I, I need your help. I just need your help to help me because I don't want to take this mat for me no more. I don't want to take this pressure medicine no more i need your help and then i start helping myself y'all i start helping myself i started watching the label on the back of the food you know and then i would go right there and when i go in the store i would go right there in the aisle with the cookies at the candy <coughs> excuse me i would go down the aisle with the cookies and candy and i was to torture myself and i pick up a needle a sealer i would pick up that um that them them uh little sneaker bars yeah oh i like the sneaker bars too i would pick the sneaker bars up and i look at them and turn it over and look at them then i look at the sugar content and all the sugar in one piece of candy i they helped me to put it down they helped me to put that then i went all down the aisle trying to find sugar free this sugar free that and then i found out that that's just as worse as the um they 100 percent sugar because it's a it's a sugar substitute it's some kind of substitute in this in these cookies and candy and stuff that says sugar free sugar free i said yeah yeah but that didn't help diabetes that didn't help my diabetes at that time you know so i had to push away because i knew that the lord was with me y'all just like he's with you that's like, he, that's like he's there waiting for you all to say, Lord, I need help. Don't be ashamed to say you need help. Because people from all walks of life, in some way or some form, some shape or fashion, they need help as well. Might not be the same thing you are asking God for. It could be different. But we all need the Lord Jesus Christ in our life. We need him. I need him. I know I need him. And I tell you one thing, he's been there for me. He's proven himself mightily in my life. And I thank him. And now I'm going to go and exercise, um, ride my tricycle around the block. You know, when I get out here, I ride for about 30 minutes, you know. And sometimes in the summertime, I ride for about an hour. Boy, I be all over this area. I be way down to the store, all around. I just be enjoying myself on my tricycle yeah and enjoy talking to my friends and my family and my loved ones and again a great big old shout out to tina my niece tina lamar a great big shout out to trayvon minister uh, trayvon hainsworth a uh, great big shout out to uh trayvon minister trayvon hainsworth that's my nephew y'all and then um uh, shout out to Annika, Annika, that's my niece. You know, there was a blessing to me when Brianna was sick, my daughter, sick, and had to try to get her to doctors to help her. They were there. They drove me to Philadelphia, and I just thank God for them. And my sister, Judah Ann, who loves Brianna, to call and check on Brianna, you know, see how Brianna's doing. I thank God for family members, you know, that have not forgotten about me. You know, that uh, I'm over here, you know, taking care of my daughter. But, you know, that lets you know that, you know, when you look around for folks to, to, to call you or to check on you to see how you're doing, they may not always be there. You know, they might not always be there, but it's a blessing when you have the Lord, you know, on your side and you know you can depend on him. He's a pleasant help in the time of trouble. In other words, good evening, good evening. In other words, he's right there, you know, and he's been right here for me and for my family and for my house. And hey, yeah, I'm happy. I am happy as I can be, y'all. I'm happy. And I, again, thank God for all of you, uh, once even as far as Africa, calling to check on Brianna, uh, Baltimore, calling to check on my daughter, you know. I thank God for those that lift up their voice to the Lord and pray for her. I thank God for you. Yes, I thank God for you. And I'm just as happy in my soul. 
I'm happy in my sanctified soul because the Lord, he's done this. God has done this. So I wish you well. I wish you well. And Lord's willing, next week I'll come back as I begin this uh, journey. This, uh, uh, this um, oh, this is going to be like 60, 70, oh, close to 75 days uh, on the Daniel fast. Because we're going to start from February the 1st up until April the 15th. We'll be doing the Daniel fast. So I want all of you that want God to do something special for you in your life to come along. Come along and, and, and go with us on the Daniel fast. You know, it's all about sacrifice. You know, it's all about sacrificing something to the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, and I sacrifice TV. I say I won't watch no TV. And what I really do, I don't actually watch the TV part. I w love to watch the animated movies, you know, the animated Christian movies. You know, oh, I just love it. Like the cartoon animated movies. I just love them. They relaxes me. And as you put me in a, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a mode where it's just, just wonderful. And I sit there, I watch those movies, and then I watch Tony Evans. I love to watch Pastor Tony Evans from Texas. I believe it is Dallas, Texas. Oh, my God, this is an awesome preacher that got me through a whole lot of things. You know, uh, uh, Pastor Tony Evans, he got me through a whole lot of things during my daughter's sickness. And um, I love to watch him. So now I'm going to be sacrificing some things, you know, in this um, two and a half months on this Daniel fast. So you all that want to take the challenge, you want to take the challenge. And let me tell you, this Daniel fast is, 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 is will bless you uh, spiritually and physically. It will bless you. I tell you, I was on that here uh, about three, four years ago when I first started it. You know, I was on it 21 days, and I backed it again with another 21 days. I lost about 20, 14, first I lost 40, the first month I lost 14 pounds. I then came back, I lost about 7 pounds that second 21 days. So that's what really started, uh, y'all, my weight loss. That's what really started it, the Daniel fast. It started it, you know. And, uh, and then I got used to um, not eat, caring about the meat. Not caring about the animal products. And I didn't want no dairy products. The cheese was constipating. And the milk was, I just, I never drink uh, cow milk, never. Well, when I was in school, I can say that. You know, and I didn't like it. Back then when I was in school, I always settled for the chocolate milk. It was still cow milk, but just colored. Put some chocolate in it. I went, it went, I wouldn't care. <laughs> I, I wouldn't care if it was uh, uh, animal, uh, it was, it was animal milk, you know, like it was chocolate <laughs> during those days. But yeah, I, um, I don't care. I don't care for animal products now. So, uh, so starting this uh, Daniel uh, coming February the first is going to be rewarding for me, you know, because um, I'm going to be looking forward to it within the next three months, the 38 pounds gone. I, when I, I, but I'll be coming back, uh, uh, definitely talking with you all in regards to my progress uh, on the Daniel. On the Daniel, because I got a long list. I got a long list, Sheila, what I got for God to do for me, what I want the Lord to do for me. And I'm, I'm definitely going to do what he asked me to do. I'm, I've surrendered everything to him. I surrender to him because you know something? It is the will of God that we be healthy. It is not God's will that we have suffer from high blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, stroke, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and all this other stuff in our joints and, and just getting all outdone. That's not the will of God in Christ Jesus. No, he wants you healthy. He wants you healthy just like he wants me healthy. Yes, yes. So I love you all, and I didn't, wanna, I didn't intend to make the video this long. I just want to come on briefly. Uh, just to share my testimony and my love to the family for how you have been a blessing to me and a blessing to praying for Brianna and we lift Brianna high today. Continue to pray with me as I pray for Brianna. Continue to pray and lift Minister Hazley up high before the Lord and those that, that need uh, a text from the Lord, my precious sister, Sister Julia Hainsworth, continue to lift her up before the Lord. To see, God got something powerful for us this year. He got something mighty, mighty powerful for us 
uh, to this work to do for him. I believe God is going to do away with the coronavirus. I think he's going to do away with the coronavirus. And I think ooh, we're going to be able to show ourselves mightily for the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you all, and we'll look forward to coming back real soon. May God be with you. May heaven continue to smile upon you until we come back again. Amen. Y'all be blessed today. Now, we love you in the name of the Father, and the name of the Son, and the precious name of the Holy Spirit. God be with you all throughout today. God bless y'all. Love you, Sheila. Love you, uh, Anita, and uh, whoever else is there. I don't see your name, but if you are there, we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. And you all continue to be a blessing. To look, be a blessing to somebody around you by lifting them up in prayer and asking God to bless them and to strengthen them and to keep them. God bless you. Love you all. Bye-bye.